everyone welcome back I just want to uh, share a couple things with you that I think that really could help your playing um, I often get asked how did I develop my picking hand or my improvising that kind of thing and what I did really and I think probably the most important thing you can do as a player is to really focus on one thing at a time so say you want to pick fast and you have a book and you have all these exercises and you're running through all these exercises and you're just practicing them until you're blue in the face but they always stay the same speed if you practice at the same speed forever you're going to stay at the same speed you need to feel the motions quicker so what I would do um, for instance with the picking hand is I would practice feeling the motion fast so I'd practice trembling the note maybe I'd want to get that happening. If I could get that, I know that that would be as fast as I'm going to pick. So then if I tried to put some notes with that, I knew I had that part, so I'd have to focus on the synchronization and what notes I'm going to do in my left hand. I really recommend just doing one string to start out with. You don't want to make it too complex and worry about having to switch string you want to just feel the synchronization the speed the fluidity on one string so I might just practice a pattern like where I might just go and what I would do is I might hammer that I would try to increase the speed and feel the motion. Then I would just try to sync it up, but I would do it fast. I wouldn't do slow and build up. I would kind of try to clean it up as I played it. I might start out just for a little bit. You know, and I would just... Um, and I could feel the motion faster and I knew if I got it that fast then if I'm playing and I'm improvising at a faster tempo that if I could do it at that tempo and it's very comfortable I could definitely go faster. I have early tapes of myself from when I was in high school. You could hear it before I started a phrase I'd be like and then then I'd go into the run you know and I worked a lot on the left hand separately whatever it was I was practicing to get the um, and then as I practice it I would try to get control and maybe feel where the down make sure I'm feeling where the downbeat is where I'm starting it Taking it through whatever scale I was playing. So I take that initial idea and just try to move it all around after I got the initial idea down. But I spent a lot of time just focusing on getting that initial idea down. important thing is that you do not want to do is is just do it a little bit and, and go on you really want to focus on it what your goal is 
you know you want to make sure you have a goal and 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 visualize it in your mind and you come you kind of want to visualize what the phrase should sound like um, Try to move it around to different strings. I would try it, I would try it with different patterns, different scale shapes, just trying different licks. But focusing on one thing at a time and really mastering it and then trying it through every possible scale pattern that you can think of in key to where it's really second nature and then you want to you know after you get it on one string try it on two that would be in a picking example you could do it with improvising um, you could just take one key and really work that key all over the next to so say you're a minor fo focus on playing a minor Maybe start out at the fifth position and just put down a rhythm and improvise and then branch out to some shapes that you feel comfortable with like maybe the 12th fret. and then try bridging back and forth using the shapes that you can get to that maybe on one string getting down back down the fifth but that's kind of how i did it and then i would eventually learn all the shapes but i would focus on a couple shapes that felt comfortable and that i kind of knew where the notes were where i could end the, the phrases that sounded nice that same thing with the pentatonic scale I would find and try to play the phrase same phrase all over the neck so just a couple things to keep in mind focus on what you want to do what it is you want to accomplish if you want to be better at your rhythm or your soloing or whatever, just focus on that. And uh, I remember I focused a lot on tapping my foot and really made tapping my foot my thing. And before I was consciously, consciously aware of that, I noticed sometimes my phrasing would feel like a square peg in a round hole. It just wouldn't feel good. Once I started focusing on tapping my foot, some of the phrases I was doing, I had to throw away. They just they weren't musical phrases and it really focused me to start playing musically and I'm gonna get more talking more about foot tapping and stuff like that but but that's the key focus on what you want to do build it up and just repeat it over and over till it becomes a muscle reflex and stretch that sucker out to get the most out of it so I hope this helps and um, if you uh, like this and want to subscribe or watch some other videos in this channel that'd be awesome so thank you